What's going on, Jerome's? Uh, we're back, and NFL free agency is upon us. And before the Vikings can clear up some cap and decide who they're going to go chase uh, when official free agency opens up in March, they have to decide who they're going to let go. And we're going to take a look at the Vikings' unrestricted free agents, a.k.a. expiring contracts, free to sign anywhere that they want uh, in March. And frankly, a lot of these guys can go s- somewhere else. Please, please, please. So at the top, big ticket item, Anthony Harris, free safety, 29 years young, played last year on the franchise tag, $11.441 million, and he had his worst season as a starter. It was not good. As dominant as he was in 2018 and 2019, 2019 he led the NFL or tied for the NFL lead in interceptions, he was bad. He was not great. Zero interceptions, a 121.4 quarterback rating with thrown at, four touchdowns allowed in coverage. He had allowed zero goose egg d'angelo russell in 2018 2019 combined and it wasn't great and then also if you look at him in the saints game yeah okay yeah okay yeah so i think the vikings will probably let him go i think that he even though he did have a step back last season i think the teams in the free agent market for a safety could see him as a lower cost option to justin simmons who's gonna break the bank by the way uh so i do believe that the Cleveland Browns coming on in. Kevin Stefanski and company, obviously very familiar with Anthony Harris. There have been some rumors uh, that they had tried to trade for him last year when he was on the franchise tag. They ended up taking Grant Delph in the second round. Remember, they also signed Sandejo. Cool. Uh, but, yeah, Anthony Harris finds his way to Berea. Two years, $18 million deal. Not top of the market, but you know, the season that he had last year definitely uh, do not deserve top of the market. Uh, next up. So Eric Wilson, I would like to keep Eric Wilson around. And we talked about the ramifications of the lower salary cap. It may force players that may not have a market like they would in a normal season uh, stick with the team that got them there, potentially on a shorter, uh, cheaper one-year deal and then uh, get to free agency in 2022. I think that may be the case with Wilson. But there are a number of teams that, even with the lower cap, are significantly under. Like, they have a lot of cap room to play with. And I I think he finds his way to the Queen City, Cincinnati Bengals. Three years, $22 million deal. Uh, They like his coverage skills. He's able to come in. And uh, the Bengals have had uh, a Vikings fixation. So they got Trey Waynes. They signed Mac Alexander to a one-year deal. Maybe they'll try to retain him. But Eric Wilson, at his age, plus he played ball at the University of Cincinnati, I think that could be appealing as well. Uh, but kind of stinks, kind of stinks, but the Vikings uh, would get, be in line for a compensatory pick, both for Harris and Wilson, uh, so that would be some nice nice in the 2022 draft. Next up, so Todd Davis came in as a, a midseason a- addition, former Denver Bronco team captain, 28 years young, and I like him. I, I like him as a Mike linebacker. He's solid against the run, uh, 35 tackles total uh, in some spot work, and I would like to run it back. I, I do like Todd Davis's uh, veteran leadership. So the Vikings get him one year, $1.1 million deal. Now, 1.1 is guesstimating. Uh, we're basically saying a veteran minimum, but that's going to be vacillating uh, since they haven't set the salary cap yet. So, yeah, one year, minimal deal. Uh, run it back with Todd Davis. Next up, so Dakota Dozier. I, I, I get loyalty, but Dakota Dozier starting all last season, never being replaced just because he was Rick Dennison's guy back with the Jets. It's really inexcusable. Like, it was horrific to watch. He, he allowed 46 pressures, which led the NFL for all guards. He allowed uh, six sacks, as well as had nine penalties. Not nice. Not nice. 29 years old. He's going to be 30 before the se- year, uh, season starts. No. No, no, no. So, his next team, Walmart. Sorry, 1375 an hour starting. He can be a greeter. He can work in the warehouse. He can be a cashier. He can do everything. Dakota Dozier is your man, fast-tracked, uh, soon to become assistant manager, then uh, assistant to the regional manager. Lots of things going on. So Dakota Dozier, <sighs> rollback saving. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, just like he rolled back protection last year. Amir Abdullah, 27 years young, former second-round pick on Nebraska. Uh, now, I liked him as a third uh, third down back receiver as well as contributed very nicely on special teams. I would like him back. And given the choice between uh, Amir and Mike Boone, It may come down to dollars and cents because if they put the second round uh, restrictor free agent tag on Mike Boone, he'll probably cost about three and a half million dollars where Amir Abdullah played uh, last year on the league minimum a one year about one point zero five million dollar deal. I think that they will do the same thing. And if you can have Amir Abdullah for two and a half million dollars less than Mike Boone, I love Mike Boone, but yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Rashad Hill, swing tackle, uh, former 2016 UDFA coming out of Southern Miss, uh, 29 years old. Now, last year, he was a swing backup tackle filled in uh, when Riley Reef went out with COVID, uh, as well as he's a six offensive lineman in heavy packages. I, I think the Vikings would be smart to bring back that veteran uh, stability. And not too much, though. Not too much. One year, $1.1 million. If he does go up to, say, $3 million bucks, I wouldn't be mad at it. There you go. Uh, next up, Georgia Loka. <laughs> so he came back last year. Uh, no, 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 no. So he, he ended up tearing his ACL. This is probably it for him, the former Boise State uh, safety. Uh, yeah, but 30 years old, he was back for the Vikings for the second time. I don't think there will be a third time. So he's retired. Income, Social Security, just cashing that check. Let's go. Uh, Julio Johnson. Defensive tackle, 26 years old, was a 2017 fourth-round pick out of Iowa. And the Vikings' defensive interior was not good last year. So, A, couldn't rush the passer. B, could not hold up against the run. But other than that, they were really, really good. And Jaleel Johnson was one of the prime offenders there. A 35.3 PFF grade was the 153rd graded defensive tackle in the National Football League last year, which is not... Which is not good. Not good. Not great. So he leaves in free agency and, oh baby, another chapter in the dumbest rivalry in sports history, the New York Jets. J-E-T-S. Jets, Jets, Jets. Pairing him up with Quentin Williams and uh, the nose tackle, whose name I can't pronounce, but he's awesome. Yeah, two years, $4 million deal and just racking up and stacking up those comp picks. Woo! Let's go, baby. Let's go. Next up, Brett Jones, uh, the pride of Regina. A swing interior offensive lineman, 29 years young. Uh, started two games in place of Ezra Cleveland. We had those ankle injuries last year. And he was good. Uh, a very competent fill-in and a guy that you really want on that bench. Yeah, the veteran leadership and a guy that can spot start for you and not really take that big of a step back. I like it. I love it. Need some more of him. Bring it back. Yeah, $1.1 million deal. And he loves the Vikings. Even though the Vikings have done him dirty year after year after year, I think that he will stick around one more time. Next up, Sean Mannion. 28 years old, uh, former third-round pick from Oregon State. Now, 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 you need to upgrade the backup quarterback spot. I would take Blake Bortles over Sean Mannion at, at this point. And I, I know that Kirk Cousins would feel the hot breath of Blake Bortles right behind him. The fans would be cheering for Bortles, Bortles, Bortles. Uh, uh, yeah, but Sean Mannion, no, no. He's going to join the, the fan-controlled fan, uh, football league, $400 a game. It's going to be Johnny Manziel, DeAndre Francois, and Sean Mannion. And Tim, Tim Tebow. Or at least it should be. Lastly, Hardy Nickerson Jr. I really like him. Uh, he was a midseason signee, uh, 27 years old. Was on the roster, off the roster, on the practice squad, back on the roster, uh, that whole thing. Uh, midseason signing, 14 tackles. Also had a pick in the Saints game. I, I do like him as a uh, linebacker depth, especially if the Vikings do like of Eric Wilson, TBD, what happens with Anthony DeBar, but yeah, absolutely bring Hardy Nixerson Jr. on, on back. Uh, one year, $1.1 million deal. Let's get that thing going. But uh, that's it. Uh, that's predictions of the Vikings in-house uh, unrestricted free agents. Uh, what are your thoughts and our thoughts? Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work? Pull some of the Venmo, but until next time, Skull, production value.